Morning. Morning. <laughs> It's the one that just went out, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. I wasn't taking a lot of notice. I was too busy shooting it. It will. Oh, here's me missing another break. <laughs> So I may be wrong, but I think that is Ocean Osprey doing the fisheries uh, protection business. I'm getting comms in my ear all the time. They're interrogating, what was it, Resolute moments ago and two brothers doing the usual uh, interrogation of what you're doing and where you're from and when are you going back and have you got fish on board. And, yeah, I think that's them. So... Out there, in the vicinity of that, below the horizon, will be the uh, several of the fleets. I am not breaking out the AIS. Yeah, okay, I lied. <laughs> I, I broke out the AIS. Uh, there's Ocean Osprey, there's Resolute, and there's the Twin Brothers. And what I've got to do now is use my cold fingers to try and make that a smaller screen. So you can see where that is in relation to the bay. So yeah, that's uh, it's a way out. If it weren't for the fact that uh, Ocean Osprey is such a, a large sh ship, I wouldn't be able to see that at all. I would have no idea at all. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Let's try and widen that back. And my fingers are not working on this screen, are they? <laughs> Look at this. Right, uh, yeah, Ocean Osprey, that is the Ocean Osprey. Is it going to do a pop-up for me? No, it's not. They're very cold fingers. And just to prove the point, if I can get back on it, that little dot in the distance there is Ocean Osprey. Can't see the fishing boats, or can we? I can't see them. It's uh, a difficult shot, that handheld. They cannot put the camera down to get that because they're too far off around the corner. Anyway, enough of all that. We're still sitting here, but probably not for long, actually. to go. I think we're going to pop in and see Mother if we can, so we're going to go a little bit early. Uh, have you forgotten something, Bert? I think you forgot something, Bert. Get your ball! going on there, buddy. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Just what? No, just wait. We're going to be all done. We're going to be all done. We're going to be going up already. Yeah, you just wait. There's <laughs> a pretty good bunch of seed there. Oh, there. Pretty sure it is. An elaborate one as he seems going. Some artistic, uh, some artistic miss <laughs> about that one. JF. Still things a bit strange. Oh. Little 
unusual to see a seagull stood there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just a little less usual. Right, we are sitting here. You're biscuited. Oh, you shall be getting the coffee out. Yeah, I couldn't resist having it a bit more of that. <laughs> it's not an easy shot where I'm sat here. I'm going to hold the camera up, that's what it's all shaking. But, uh, yeah, it is Sunday. Seagull Sunday. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> enough of it, enough of it. Show the same thing there. <laughs> yeah, nice scared elf. <laughs> He's got a big one. Isn't it? That crow is going back and forth, back and forth, hiding food all over the place. There you go, he's burying it. He's burying his food and he's got a stash. He's going back and forth, back and forth. I wonder if they actually um, find it ever again. I imagine they do it for no reason, but how on earth they would find it? You know, I've been mean, seeing them covering it up with leaves, bits of twig. I can't imagine they'd ever find it again. So, assuming they do, not only are they incredibly intelligent, but they've got an amazing memory as well. There you go, he's going off in another lump now. Where'd he go? Oh, I lost him. Yeah, I lost him. There we're going back and forth, back and forth. I saw him bury a couple of bits there. Anyway, we're still sitting here. We was in conversation. <laughs> we missed them going out. Uh, let me let me get this off you, mate. Uh, the plan is we're going to go home. We're going to stop off at home, and then we are going to go to mother's. That's the plan. We shall see. Yeah, I just uh, spent an absurd amount of time here because I, I was intrigued, mate. I was intrigued. Just, just back up, mate. This is one of the trees that's been cut here. Actually, is that? That's just the, the cut off the top. I, I was just intrigued. It, it's obviously that is it's been cut off of there, isn't it? Just dumped here. I was intrigued to know. So I, I gave it a go at counting the rings here. Uh, can you see my pencil marks? I have made pencil marks. Right, so it's hard to tell with the first one, but it doesn't have to be. To, uh, we've got a bit of a cruise going by here. A load of motorbikes here. Uh, nothing special. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's try that again. Um, yeah, I've, I've pencil marks. Look, center of the tree. Hard to tell that in close, but you know, give or take. Right, that's ten years. That's twenty. That's 30, that's 40, 50, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 74, 74 year old tree, 
So it was perfectly happy for 74 years. But now they've decided, no, it's got to go, it's got to go. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. There's something going on in this place and somebody needs to ask some questions, I think. Anyway, as best as I could uh, figure out, that's a 70-year-old tree they've just cut down there. And that is pretty representative of the other ones they've cut here as well. Uh, yeah, I'm, I... What do you say, mate? What do you say? 70 years... 70 years, just chop that. Just throw it. Just the park here. They're destroying this place. Right, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. That one. <laughs> he just uh, came down the road the wrong way there. And I pointed and shouted and... I don't know what gesture they made with their fingers, but... Uh, they didn't seem to care. <laughs> <laughs> 